Well, guys, we are less than 24 hours away from game four between the Kings and Warriors. Of course, Golden State has all the momentum coming into this game after that beatdown they served the Kings in game three. But as we all know, with the Sacramento Kings, the moment you underestimate them is the moment they make you pay. Now, here's a look at the Kings taking in some practice earlier today, and they know Golden State will be looking to even the series tomorrow. Now, the key for the Kings to get back on track is to start making their threes. They went from making roughly 37% of their three-point attempts during the regular season to making just 27% of their threes throughout the postseason. Not to mention the Warriors held the Kings to under 100 points for the first time this series in Game 3. Now, despite the poor shooting, the Kings are still up two games to one over the defending champions. And best believe, the Kings know what they're capable of doing, and they will stay confident to knock down those shots. Uh, I'm, I'm confident. I put a, enough work in it. You know, I just got to have the confidence to go out there and sh shoot it consistently. You know, um, I'm always trying to get guys open, you know, so I just got to be more aggressive sometimes. I feel like if anything, they're going to be way more aggressive. They're getting one of their um, best players back, you know, so um, it, it definitely changes, you know, and they have a chance to tie the series. So they're, they're going to come out um, just like game three. Uh, I think in the playoffs, every game's a life of its own, but <clears throat> but being in certain situations, makes you a little bit more comfortable than going through it the first time. I, I mean, I, I remember my first playoff game, I was like, oh, <laughs> you know, and I don't know what number of playoff game this is for me, but, you know, you, you do, you feel relaxed, you feel confident, um, and if things don't go the way you expect, that's okay, because that's part of the game of basketball. Now, ABC 10's Matt George was inside of Chase Center for practice earlier. That's right. See, we have people all over the place. So, Matt, tell us what you saw inside of practice today. Matt George here inside Chase Center where the Sacramento Kings just wrapped up practice for the day. And the vibes, positive, optimistic. A team that knows they can correct the mistakes that they made in Game 3 in this building earlier this week. With Game 4 coming tomorrow, a matinee game on Sunday, the Sacramento Kings are very well aware of the significant difference between going home to Sacramento for Game 5 up 3-1 with a chance to put the series to bed versus the series being even at 2-2. Two and two. Giving the defending champions a fresh start, allowing them to even the series up, that could be a recipe for disaster for this Kings team. And Kevin Herter himself, Sacramento Kings guard, said that he feels that the Kings have to win a game in this building if they are going to win this series. We'll see how the Sacramento Kings can bounce back tomorrow. DeMontis Sabonis uh, spent extra time at the end of practice working on his jump shot. The Golden State Warriors have been playing off him, giving him more than enough room to take that shot. So we'll see if he's more prone to taking it in game four. One thing's for sure, the uh, despite the early start, I'm sure the energy level in this building is going to be second to none. From the Chase Center, Matt George, ABC 10 Sports.